board. Interesting facts about famous people. All movie roles, Clint Eastwood, turned down. Clint Eastwood starred in many legendary films, from The Man With No Name to the Dirty Harry franchises. Today we will take a look at all the roles he declined. Some wise, others not so much. Eastwood started building his acting resume in 1959, starting with an uncredited part in Revenge of the Creature, a monster movie in the Black Lagoon series. His real success started with his part as Rowdy Yates in the TV series Rawhide, a role that helped him reach truly epic status with Italian director Sergio Leone casting him in the Dollar Spaghetti Western trilogy between 1964 and 1966, ending with The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. Western started waning in popularity in the 70s. Eastwood then found success in the growing crime drama genre with the Dirty Harry franchise and still going with many acclaimed films. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it in no particular order. You're a good father. You don't have to prove you loved him. Superman, 1978. The most memorable and beloved Superman is arguably Christopher Reeves from the 1970s series. However, Clint Eastwood was seriously considered for the role. Eastwood turned down Superman as he preferred to play characters more based in reality, considered for the role mainly based on his A-list status, as other popular stars at the time. There were many choices on the table before the part went to Reeves. Even Muhammad Ali was in talks to become Superman, as revealed by producer Ilya Selkind in the commentary for the updated 40th anniversary Superman edition. Eastwood turning down the role is probably the right choice considering the performance Reeves delivers. Eastwood would have undoubtedly performed well in the role. The harder persona he exemplifies would have perhaps become forever affected if he played such a heroic role like Superman. James Bond. Another famous role that Eastwood turned down was Agent 007. Roger Moore played James Bond instead of Eastwood for six movies over a span of 10 years beginning with Live and Let Die and ending with Octopussy. The reason for a new Bond came when Sean Connery chose to depart from the role after 1971's Diamonds Are Forever, eventually returning to the franchise 12 years later for one last time in Never Say Never Again. Eastwood declined playing Bond as he believed the character should go to an English actor. He further stated that the role was somebody else's gig. That's Sean's deal. It didn't feel right for me to be doing it. Magnetism. Captain Benjamin Willard, <laughs> Apocalypse deal. Now, a part that finally and went to Martin Sheen, was first offered to Eastwood. Inspired by the novel Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, Francis Ford Coppola's Apocalypse Now follows Captain Benjamin Willard through Vietnam on a mission to assassinate Marlon Brando's Colonel Walter Kurtz after he goes rogue. Clint Eastwood turned the role down because of the demanding four-month shooting schedule in the Philippines and also expressed wariness with the role, telling Coppola that he didn't understand this show too much. Despite reading Heart of Darkness himself, the role didn't immediately go to Sheen, however. Coppola fired Harvey Keitel as Willard because of his character's interpretation before making his final choice. John McClane, Die Hard. Clint Eastwood was heavily involved with Die Hard. He even owned the movie rights to Nothing Lasts Forever, Roderick Thorpe's 1979 novel that Die Hard was based on. Eastwood was set to star as John McClane before the role went to Bruce Willis, known for his comedic part in the TV show Moonlighting. Considering that the movie was originally going to be a more serious 80s action flick, Willis was far from being the first choice for McClane. Clint Eastwood turned down Die Hard because, as Eastwood didn't get the humour of the script, instead moved on to work on his sixth instalment of the Dirty Harry franchise, The Deadpool. It was released in 1988, the same year Die Hard came out. Eastwood as McLean would have most likely been darker and more serious than Willis. Eastwood played a significant part in getting the movie made.
Harmonica, Once Upon a Time in the West. In a meeting between Eastwood and director Sergio Leone regarding the 1968 spaghetti western, Once Upon a Time in the West, that influenced Eastwood not to take the part, Leone reportedly was done with westerns himself until Paramount offered him a deal. The role of Harmonica, meant for Eastwood, eventually went to Charles Bronson, who played opposite Henry Fonda. Sergio Leone made many films in his career that spanned beyond the western genre. In fact, Once Upon a Time in the West was meant to be the crime drama Once Upon a Time in America, which became the last film Leone made before his 1989 death. Benson's dead too. You ought to know Frank better than anyone. You killed him. Who are you? Agent K, Man in Black. Agent K in the sci-fi franchise, Man in Black, almost went to Eastwood. Director Barry Sonnenfeld met with Tommy Lee Jones and found him to be a better choice. It's probably for the best that Jones accepted the role. Considering the strong on-screen chemistry Jones had with Will Smith's Agent J. Mikey? Your money, Jay. Heist a cop's driver. Cop on a jigsaw, huh? Mikey, when they let you out. What do you make of that? I found it in the pocket of my coat. Weird, huh? Yeah, you're smiling. Is that the neuralizer thing the only one? Only official one. Plans leaked out on the internet a few years ago. Computer, internet. Rick Deckard, Blade Runner. Ridley Scott's movie cuts suggest that Blade Runner's Rick Deckard may have been a replicant. Clint Eastwood was not Rick Deckard, despite being considered for the role, based on Philip K. Dick's novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Blade Runner cemented the cyberpunk future noir style into popularity, making Ridley Scott one of the most influential sci-fi directors of this generation. Eastwood's cool, sure. gritty style paired with his success in crime dramas would have made him a great Deckard had the role gone to him instead of Harrison Ford. It's too bad she won't live. But then again, who does? Graham Hess, Signs. M. Night Shyamalan almost cast Clint Eastwood in Mel Gibson's role for the 2002 sci-fi horror, Signs. Gibson plays the priest, Graham Hess, who was originally written to be an older character, explaining why the 72-year-old Eastwood was offered the role before turning it down. Paul Newman was also considered for Gibson's role, but also turned it down. Signs received mixed reviews, especially with its obligatory M. Night Shyamalan twist, disappointingly being that the invading aliens are allergic to water. <laughs> Hank Deerfield in the Valley of Ella the character of Hank Deerfield in 2007's crime drama In the Valley of Ella was offered to Clint Eastwood. Like Men in Black, this part also went to Tommy Lee Jones. Eastwood had a working relationship with In the Valley of Ella's writer-director, Paul Haggis, who three years prior wrote Eastwood's best picture-winning drama, Million Dollar Baby. While Clint Eastwood declined the role, Haggis reports that Eastwood was instrumental in getting The Valley of Ella made. Eastwood earned a reputation continuing to this day turning down culturally iconic roles and still maintaining his legendary status only further establishes his importance to cinema. You're a good father. You don't have to prove you loved him. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.